What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing Palkia Origin Form. This team was made by Zolrain. Thank you so much for making this team, Zolrain. I'm going to leave a link to him in the description below, so go check him out. But basically, the idea behind this team is take your Telepathy Palkia Origin and either put it next to Chiyu with Lava Plume or put it next to Metagross with Explosion. Because that just sounds awesome. Uh, the Chiyu with Lava Plume is a classic combo with this Dash Bun here as well, with its well-baked body ability, making it immune to fire moves, and when it gets hit by a fire move, plus two defense for free, making it a great body press bot. So we've got the Chiyu Dash Bun combo, we've got the Lava Pluming next to Palkia combo, we've got the potentially exploding with Metagross, we'll see if we get to pull that off combo. So it just seems super fun. Uh, there's also a clear amulet Rillaboom on here, there's a Tornadus on here, Good for speed control, Rillaboom is just a great Pokemon in the meta. Palkia Origin is absolutely hideous in my opinion. Let me know if you agree. Uh, I, I like regular Palkia just fine, but this centaur looking thing with this Lustrous Globe, which by the way, Lustrous Globe moves 20 base points from attack and puts it in speed. So it's actually pretty good on Palkia. You can take that extra speed, hit the speed point you want, and have extra points to put basically anywhere. And it also gives you a 20% boost to your dragon and water moves, making this thing hit like an absolute truck. So, anyway, that's the team. Let's get on to some battles. Okay, Dean, you've got a Kyogre team. A uh, pretty standard looking one, Tornadus, Kyogre, Urshifu, uh, the, the Bridge, uh, Amoongus, and Chen Pao. <laughs> wear arms. Yeah, where are his arms, dude? Okay. Palkia seems good. Honestly, really good. Like, you can actually take a hit from Kyogre quite well. Um, setting up the bun doesn't seem like the way to go here. I think I want to go with Metagross, and I... Nope. I want to put this on the left, because it's big. Okay. And then I, I want to go with a Metagross lead. I think Terra Water Metagross and wear arms might be my best bet against like a Kyogre stuff. And we have Psychic Fangs in case Amoongus wants to be a problem. I think it'll be fine. Uh, my biggest fear then would probably be the Archaladon. Not sure exactly what I want to do about that. Speed, taking speed could be fine. I assume we're faster than a Kyogre. We're pretty fast, yeah. Um, I'm gonna bring Rillaboom, and I'm actually gonna bring Chiyu. Chiyu, I feel like, is the only thing on this team that has a decent matchup into Archaladon. I just had to avoid being body pressed and avoid being Kyogred. I'm not gonna be able to use the fire moves too well in the rain either. Oh, Infernape? Infernape's a cool mod. Because it's on fire, so, you know, I like it. Alright, Kyogre and Boreos, yep. Alright, Palkia, you are towering over these legendaries. <clears throat> I think I want to do what I wanted to do. And what I wanted to do was explode. I'm clicking it. I'm gonna tear a water so they can't take me out with a water spout. And I'm gonna just explode. Dialga has... Not Dialga. Sorry, Palkia. Palkia has telepathy, so I can explode next to it. It's fine. I just need to live the turn and then go big boom. Oh, and they're just attacking with both. Ooh, we just crit that? Goodbye. Okay, Palkia got some punch. And it is Water Spout. Metagross, you take this, right? Oh, pretty well, actually. My main goal is to blow up. Oh, yeah, Explosion's the strongest move by far. Let's see if we can knock it out with this. We're not Choice Band. Almost. That does great damage. <laughs> I will take it. That is a fantastic trade. And they didn't even set up Tailwind. So I feel fine going into the fish now if I want. I think I do want. 
Put Sasa. That's a Moongus. Okay, fine. Fine by me. We got Grass Terra on either of these things? No. We do have a Rillaboom. I'm going to Spatial Rend. And I'm going to... I think Snarl would pick up Kyogre from here. Lava Plume definitely wouldn't. Heat Wave definitely wouldn't. Yeah, I'll just Snarl. It should be fine. Yeah, I, I expected them to protect anyway. But I didn't want to leave them open if they didn't protect. Hopefully Snarl plus a Globe Boosted, Beads Boosted, Spatial Rend can take out Amoongus. That's my hope. A crit would be nice here. It's gone. Goodbye. Was that a crit? No, not even a crit that time. Yeah, Palkia packs a punch. Oh my goodness. Despite having no arms to punch with. And Wallow Uso, that's her Shifu. It's Water Shifu. And we are... Modest max speed. So if they're Jolly Scarf, they're faster. Whatever. I'm gonna spatial rend the Kyogre and I'm gonna just click Snarl again. The battle was just canceled anyway. Good game! Who Palkia! Putting in some work! Okay, we've got a Maridon team and a Spice. Oh, it's a Koridon as well. Okay, this isn't exactly Regulation G, but I'm gonna play it. They've got Maridon and Koridon. They've got Chandelure, the channel mascot. They got Charizard, my favorite Pokemon. And they also have Tinkerton, which I don't much care for, really, and Conkeldur, who is awesome. Conkeldur gets Wide Guard, which is really good in this meta. Not too great against this team. I guess it can block Lava Plumes, uh, but it's pretty good. So I, I probably will end up running a Conkeldur eventually in Reg G. I think it's a good mod. Uh, but anyway, what's my plan here? I don't think Dog Lava Plume is the play. It might be, actually. I, I, I might want this anyway. Yeah, I'll go for the dog Lava Plume. I may not click Lava Plume. If they have, like, Chandelure out front, I might just go for Snarls. Um, they have a Fake Out user. I have Terra Ghost. That's okay. Definitely bring the Palkia. Palkia seems good here. Uh, I wish it was a little faster. Being weak to Dragon's annoying. I may need to save Terra for that. I might not be able to Terra Ghost that uh, fish. And then do I need to take speed? I do have a wide guard user. Who can take those hits? I don't know. Rillaboom. Yeah, I think it's Rillaboom. I can at least turn off their electric terrain that way. Weakening them significantly. Like, I could have taken speed with Tornadus. That would have been an alright option. But they don't, like, have immediate speed control. And they don't even have a trainer card, so like, I hope they bring Chandelure, and I hope it's shiny. That's my main hope here. Shiny, if they bring Sh oh no. Okay, neither of those is Chandelure. But they've got a nice shiny. They've got Koridon. Okay. We know our fish is faster, but are they just gonna wide guard? I think I want a Lava Plume anyway. It's not like Dark Pulse is going to do anything, and all three of these are going to get blocked by Wide Guard if they go for it. But Lava Plume will give us a major defense boost, which will be a big deal. So I'm going to Lava Plume, and then I'm going to just throw a Play Rough at Koridon, force it to Terra. The defense boost should save us from anything they want to do. Yeah. Oh, they're not Terraing, they're not Wide Guarding. We get our defense boost for free. And some damage. Now, Conkeldur can have guts, so... Oh my goodness, that did a lot. Oh no, we're immune to fire, buddy! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Flamethrower's a weird play. I don't know what that was about. And then Rock Tomb at the Chiyu. Okay, oh, that's gone. Yikes. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Uh, we got chi we got the fish to set up the bun. Bun is now at plus four. Uh, what special attackers did they have? They had Maridon. Yeah, I wouldn't want to bring this in against Maridon. I would want 
to immediately change the terrain as soon as they hit the field. Okay, they're just going with Tinkerton, that's okay. I think now I'll pivot out Rillaboom. Though I could use it to just knock out their Conkeldur here. Do I have U-Turn? Do you think U-Turn would kill? Oh, I don't have U-Turn anyway, it's fine. Um, I'll Glide. Yawn might not do anything. If they have Maridon in the back, they, well, first of all, it means they didn't bring Chandelure, which is like, dang. Yeah, worst case would be I let Conkeldur get a hit in. I don't want Conkeldur getting a hit in. I'm going to Grassy Glide that slot. fake out that slot and body press that slot because their Tinkerton could fake out one of my mons okay they don't or I'm faster that's fine all right goodbye that website do not go to that website and body press does a ton to Tinkerton all right Gigaton hammer let's see what this does I've never been impressed by Tinkerton I'm being honest <laughs> Not once have I ever been impressed by what a Tinkerton can do. I'm sorry, it's such cool typing, but it really should have had, like, huge power. Or they could have done what they did with Marowak, where it has a signature held item that doubles its attack. Imagine if you could just give Tinkerton a hammer item, and now it's strong. <gasps> they did bring Chandelure! Let's go! Oh, that's actually kind of bad for me! <laughs> These Pokemon can't touch a Chandelure! But it's fine. Um, I'll Terra Fire here. Wood Hammer to take that out. And just throw a Yawn at Chandelure. And it's shiny too. So cool. So cool. Shiny Chandelure. Uh, I don't know when I'll play a Chandelure because it's not exactly great. And this meta isn't good for it. I mean, it's a cool Pokemon with some cool tricks, but I don't know. Yawning you. And it's just, its name is Chandelure. They didn't get it from one of those websites. Yeah, Skitter Smack isn't going to do anything if the Gigaton Hammer didn't do anything. Get our Wood Hammer. Tinkerton goes bye-bye. Awesome. And then... It's an overheat. Ooh, there goes your special attack stat. Still did a good chunk. Oh my goodness. Chandelure's strong. Alrighty. Um, not sure what the dog can really do now. If I'm being honest. So I'm gonna go for a wood hammer, and I'm gonna just bring in. Yeah, I'm gonna just bring in Palkia. Oh, battle was just cancelled. Yeah, that was over anyway. Good game opponent. And they actually played Reg G. They didn't they didn't bring the second restricted. Good good game. Alright, Eric and your Maridon team. Maridon, Alolan Nine Tails, Iron Boulder, Iron Moth, Water Pond, and Cinderwall. Okay, I very badly need to bring Rillaboom to turn off your terrain. Fortunately, Rillaboom isn't that great into the rest of your team. Uh, I have to be aware of the Iron Boulder going through Protect. I also have to be aware of the Iron Boulder potentially being faster than Chi Yu if they have terrain control. But I do like Chi Yu Bun as a lead. Obviously, I needed Rillaboom. And, like, yeah, it's gotta be Palkia, right? Like, Tornadus and these three isn't gonna do anything. Metagross is okay. Metagross ain't bad. Honestly, we have Psychic Fangs. Maybe I should rethink how I'm playing this at all. Is the bun even the way? No. Bun isn't the way. It's these two. No. It's these two. Metagross, Rillaboom. Yeah, that gives me that gives me a Metagross swap in in case they want to go for the um, Iron Boulder's signature move, which is 
Mighty Cleave. That's the move. That's the move that goes through Protect. Aw, oh, sleeping shiny Charizard. Nice. All right. We've got some Pokemon. A cat and a fox. And a fish and a centaur world. Oh no, I put it on the right. Whoopsies. Okay. We very much may have just revealed that we're Scarf. Because they saw our ability go first. Either way, I like clicking... I like going into Metagross if I can hit Incineroar. So maybe I swap in Metagross there. And just try to rip a Hydro Pump. That's what I want to do. I think you think Chiyu is the fake out target, right? You're gonna fake something out, it's probably the Chiyu. Nope, it's the Palkia. Okay. And you set up Aurora Veil. Fine. Now, those things don't usually carry freeze dry. Uh, do I want to tear a water here? I definitely don't. Not when they have a Maridon. But I'm a little scared of that Incineroar. Maybe I don't break screens here. Maybe I go hard into Chiyu. It's a hard, it's a hard one. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Chiyu here. And now try to rip a Hydro Pump into Incineroar. Hmm. Alright. Fish is on the field. They've got Icy Wind. Okay, so they were going for a combo to take out the Metagross, maybe. Should be slower than the Ninetales now. We hit Hydro Pump. It does it anyway! Who, who cares about Veil? Palkia packs a punch. All right, now I wish I had just gone for the Psychic Fangs, but I was being careful. Hydro Pump has a decent mischance, and I didn't know that was gonna KO. But wow, that KO'd. There's Maridon. Terrifying. Right, I want to get the fish out, because I need my speed back on it. Aw, uh, they're the defense boosting with electric seed set. That might mean they're Calm Mind, which would actually make a lot of sense. I'm going to bring in Rillaboom. And I think I want to Terra Steel Spatial Rend them. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I should have just broken the screens last time. Mm. But Spatial Rent has that high crit chance, which could come in clutch. And then the screens won't matter. Oh, as long as they don't. Terra Fairy right here. Ah, uh, they're gonna Terra Fairy right here. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? Oh, they're Terra Electric. That's... Uh, from an offensive perspective, that's terrifying. But defensively, I can still hit you with Spatial Ren, so I'm happy about that. Should I switch over to Earth Power? Earth Power 90 would be 180 power. Spatial Rend is 100 plus the 20% boost, plus Stab is also 180 and has a crit rate. Yeah. No, I should just go for the uh, Spatial Rend. Uh, you're not boosting with Calm Mind, that's good. But you do so much damage, oh my goodness. Blizzard's gonna take out Palkia. Oh no! Uh oh. That's not good. Okay, Metagross to break the screens. And then hard swap into Chi Yu, I think is my play. So Chi Yu can take a Blizzard. They're probably gonna attack Metagross with Maridon, if anything. I 
Oh, they swapped their Maridon. They want terrain control back. Who did I Psychic Fangs into? Eisenfalter? Oh, that's great. That is awesome. Okay, we're still in this. I say we're still in this. They gave up their defense boost by switching out there. Blizzard isn't going to do anything. Psychic Fangs, screens are gone, and you're gone. Bye-bye. Now that I've taken two KOs, I can take terrain control permanently. The question is who I want to swap into Rillaboom. I'm thinking Snarling would be in my best interest, and then swapping in that way. Because then Metagross can come in later if they want to try to reset Veil vale here, for example. So I'll Snarl, bring in Rillaboom. The Snarl will lower their special attack. Getting rid of Electric Terrain will weaken their electric moves and lower their special attack. Because Maridon gets a 33% special attack boost on Electric Terrain. So getting rid of that is nice. They're still going to be putting out big damage. We know they have Drift. We know that their item is gone. The snow is still here. Alright, come back, Behemoth. That's a big Metagross. Alright, we're bringing our reliable partner. It's mostly a sacrificial swap, but they might not Blizzard. No, I don't think they would Blizzard, actually. We might keep Rillaboom. We get the Snarl. Decent damage on Maridon, if I'm being honest. They go for Drift. Who into? Metagross? Chiyu? Just in Chiyu. Chiyu can eat that. Yeah, we do. We're gonna get another Snarl if we want. Oh, they just go for Blizzard. Okay. Rillaboom does go down, but that's okay. I'm gonna rip another Snarl and probably a Bullet Punch into Ninetales. Snow's gone. You can't reset Veil. Your defense boost is gone on Ninetales now because there's no snow. This is good. And Metagross with its Assault Vest might be able to take Maridon one-on-one. -on -one. I can't explode. I'm locked into Snarl, so I have no choice but to Snarl. And I will Bullet Punch the Ninetales. Hopefully that knocks it out. I think without snow, that knocks out of every time. If I know my nine tails counts correctly. Uh, and they know that, so they're gonna helping hand. Uh, probably like a parabolic charge or something then, if you have it. Goodbye. Because you want to take out two you. Oh no! Oh, that dodge might have just lost us the game. Uh-oh. We needed them to lose another little bit of special attack there. That snarl dodge is actually huge. That would have been significant damage as well. Uh-oh. Well, our strongest damage output is Psychic Fangs. We can't explode, we would lose. Can we take two Electro Drifts at minus one? Can we do half with Psychic Fangs? We are max attack, but I don't think we have the special defense to take it. By my, my head calc is saying Psychic Fangs will barely miss out on the two shot, but there's no way we're taking two Electro Drifts. I think we lose. I think this Electro Drift does way more than half of what we have remaining. 125 down to 65. That's not way more than half. Oh, but we don't even do half with Psychic Fangs. Yep, not enough. Um, I guess we can take another one, but what's the point, right? That other Snarl, we would be taking this so much better. They'd be so much lower on health. We could probably have taken three Electro Drifts if we had gotten the other Snarl. And now we have to crit a bullet punch. I don't even think a critical hit bullet punch does it, but 
It's our only play. Ah oh, man, this is this is so close anyway. Good game to my opponent either way, and you win. Yeah, I don't think Crit was gonna do it. Ugh, oh, good game, Maridon strong. Bop. The critical hit, oh, there's the critical hit. Yeah, I don't think critting that bullet punch would have worked. Criti critical on one of the psychic fangs would have done it though. Or, you know, hitting the snarl because of the extra damage they would have taken, but it's all good. Good game, Eric. All right, here we've got a, it's just a regulation F team, okay. They've got Stonjourner, who could have Wide Guard. They've got Chiyu Torkoal, which is terrifying. We need the dog. We need the dog, we need the Palkia. Both of those can take fire moves just fine. Do I just go Chiyu Dog? I think I will just go Chiyu Dog Palkia. And then, if it's Dershifu, it can't beat the dog. Unless I Terra. If it's Water Shifu, I guess that could be a threat to all of these, so we want Rillaboom in that case. Uh, Fluttermane is scary, especially if Chiyu Fluttermane. Uh, Terra Water Metagross ain't bad either. I really want to not- maybe I don't bring Rillaboom. Like, Rillaboom doesn't feel great without an Assault Vest against Flying type, fire type, fire type, and an unknown Urshifu. Yeah, so I think it's Behemoth here. Maybe we could weave in an explosion at some point, that'd be funny. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna lock in. Now, if they lead with Stonjourner, we may be in trouble because it has Wide Guard. Oh, is that the Cherish Ball, Pokeball, uh, Magirna? that you get in Pokemon Home by completing the Pokedex. I have one of those. It comes min speed too. Uh oh. They've got Stonjourner. That's not good. Okay, Stonjourner, Fluttermane. They could just blow us up so hard. So. I'm gonna Dark Pulse Stonejourner. And just protect for now. See what's going on. It wasn't a wide guard! Okay, they do just go for Dazzling Gleam. And Stone Jr. flinches! That's great! I like that. I'll take that. Now I'm gonna switch my Dark Pulse targets over to the Fluttermane and bring in Metagross? Does that make sense? Yeah. Because I, I can see Stonjourner protecting now. Dark Pulse here. Bring in Metagross. There's no way you don't Dazzling Gleam this turn. A, a Shadow Ball reading this makes no sense. I, I don't- I think you're Specs anyway. With how much you did to Chiyu, but like you have the Stonejourner boost. Yeah, you protected. I'm surprised you lived that Dark Pulse, honestly. Good damage onto Fluttermane. Goodbye, Chiyu. You did your best. And now we just go crazy, because we can Bullet Punch Fluttermane and we can attack Stonejourner with Palkia. And what do you do about it? You ain't got nothing you can do about it. Um, can I Earth Power the Stonejourner? Could they swap Torn in there? I mean, I guess. I'm gonna Earth Power and I'm gonna Bullet Punch this way. Yeah. Uh, Fluttermane swaps. I was thinking about reading that, but I didn't want to risk it. It's into Chiyu as well, you know. I knew they had Bullet Punch resists in the back. I guess I could have terastalized Palkia, but then that that's, makes me weak to the fire they have in the back. So no, I think that was still the right play. I think that was still the safe, correct play. Because we don't know this guy. This is casual battles. We don't know what they're going for. Okay, we know what they have left, though. That's good. 
I want to throw an Earth Power at Chi Yu. I want to Terrastalize. And I want to... I don't need an attack boost, so there's no point in risking a miss. I'm going to Psychic Fangs Tornadus. And I'm Earth Powering Chi Yu because I don't want to risk a Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump might be better. And I don't want to Spatial Rend either slot because anything could become a Flutter Main at any second. But I think AV Metagross has got this game on lock. Okay, they just protect Chi Yu. What's Torn doing? Just tailing? Fine. Fine, I don't mind you taking speed. I'm not winning based on speed, I'm winning based on I have more stats than you do. And Psychic Fangs does half. Perfect. Oh, the Rocky Helmet? Under perfect. As badly as I want to explode, it's not the play. Okay. Situation is... Palkia... would go down to a Dazzling Gleam. So we need to have Bullet Punch on Fluttermane. If we lose Metagross and they still have Fluttermane, we lose. I'm gonna Earth Power the Chi Yu, and I'm gonna swap into Dog? No. Yes. Earth Power Chi Yu, swap into the Dog. Because if I can get rid of Chi Yu, Fluttermane does less damage. If I were to get rid of Tornadus first, then they would have Chi Yu Fluttermane on the field, which can put out a lot of damage. Oh, it's just a Heat Wave! Oh, great, we caught an immunity. Awesome. Kalki doesn't really mind that. Eh, except for the burn, but that doesn't... That reduces our physical attack. It's not a big deal. Kalki is pretty much done anyway. Goodbye, Chi Yu. Thank you for playing. Yeah, and if your Fluttermane is, in fact, choice specs... We just bullet punch that. Once Metagross comes back in. So all the rest of the team has to do is hit Tornadus. Easier said than done, though. Um, I would still- I'd rather have two Pokémon on the field. We could still lose if two bleak if two spread bleak winds can take Behemoth. We still might lose. So I need to spatial rend Tornadus and protect the dog. All right, they're terrestrializing. It's just fairy Fluttermane, right? Yeah, that's fine. That's cool. We will bullet punch you later. Yep, and just Dazzling Gleam. Th this makes sense. Th this Dazzling Gleam should KO both of these Pokemon. I'm just protecting the dog so that later on Bleak Wind Storm isn't a single target hit on Metagross. So we have to take two spread Bleak Winds and maybe Rocky Helmet Chip. Though I think if you die to Rocky Helmet Chip at the end of the match, you end up winning, though, if you knock them out too. So I think it's fine. And here's Metagross. Behemoth the Great. This is it really a maximum size Metagross that's shiny? Sick. Alright, we Bullet Punch. And if you were baiting us into thinking this whole time that you were choice specs and you're not, uh, you protect and probably win. And then I'll just throw a play rough at Tornadus, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, they're, they're just choice specs, they have no choice but to take this to the face. Goodbye, Fluttermane. And moment of truth, how much does Bleak Windstorm do to Metagross? 102 down to 62, we can take another one. We can take another one, that only does 50. And it looks like Play Rough connects, and that's in bullet punch range anyway, we don't have to risk crits. 
good game opponent. Whew! That was a fun one. Even even though I had Palkia, you, you still put up a fight. Yeah, bullet punch and play rough. Good game. I'm gonna play it out. Yep, I I do bullet punch you. It does do enough. We all knew it would. Good game. Good game, Tornadus. Good game, Fluttermane. Good big game to you. And there was also a Stone Turner. Didn't really do anything, but it was there. All right, GG's. All right, we are back. I didn't know Palkia hit so hard. This thing was hitting like a truck. Oh my goodness. Thank you again, Zolrain, for making this team. It's super fun. I never would have thought Lava Plume and Dash Bun next to a Palkia. That is just great. And I'm so happy that I got to explode today, too. It didn't do as much damage as I thought it would, but it did enough. We won the game. We clicked explosion. Super fun. I hope you guys had fun, too. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright. Peace.